there was a lot of action uh, yesterday um, in Abuja with the uh, Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Um, and I guess uh, the big deal was, of course, Sanusi saying that losses being declared by banks, um, a welcome development, and uh, that uh, the, the plans to buy up bad loans in the banking sector and an expansionary budget for this year could increase inflation and put pressure on exchange rates. What are your thoughts? Um, I, th I thought it was an interesting MPC meeting. Um, his, his, his thoughts on the banks and the losses were interesting because not all the banks have reported yet, especially the rescued banks. Uh, people are still waiting for their results and people are fearing that the re results might be worse than expected. So he might be preparing the ground for that. I think it's also interesting that um, CBN has said they are going to continue to guarantee interbank lending as well as foreign credit lines onto June 2011. Um, that's another, 18 another year and a bit of guarantees. Uh, that would suggest that they're expecting to take a bit longer than expected for um, the reforms to settle down and to sort out some of the rescued banks. Um, is, is to, is the MPC is read on inflationary pressures is in line with all the market forecasts. In a pre-election year, you ex expect inflation to rise as government spending increases. And you also expect um, with the if the toxic loans, some toxic loans taken off some of the banks, that there will be inflationary pressures as well. Ola Kayuda, I just want to just uh, play a quick clip that we've got of Governor Sanusi of yesterday, um, just talking about some of the key issues there. Um, if you can just uh, take a look as well. The committee, however, noted that in the next quarter, monetary expansion may be driven by increased government spending, the purchase of toxic assets by the Asset Management Corporation, and the recapitalization of distressed banks. These expansions may translate into the risk of higher inflation, asset price bubbles, or pressure on exchange rates and foreign reserves. The next MPC in July will assess these risks and take appropriate action. Uh, Governor Lamida Sanusi speaking about um, the, the, the impact that um, these measures might have on the banking sector, in particular inflation. Olaka Yudi, um, also uh, what Governor Sanusi was saying was um, uh, with regards to the um, asset management company um, that uh, to soak up the bad uh, bank loans and um, that this will be given approval pretty soon. Do you see any hiccups coming to the fore in particular in view of, of the change in, uh, in government's regime? Um, I don't think so. Um, the AMC bill has been passed by both houses. What has been doing now is that it has to be harmonized because the version passed in the House of Reps is slightly different from the version passed in the Senate. So it's been harmonized at the moment and we expect in the next two weeks for a harmonized bill to be signed by the President. Um, but I think there should be a note of caution. The AMC might not be able to take off all the toxic loans because it has to take off toxic loans both from the rescued banks as well as all the banks who passed, who passed the CBN or, um, special examination. Um, people who estimate the quantum of toxic loans to be in a region of maybe between seven to eight billion dollars and I doubt the AMC can take off all those toxic loans so there will be some left in the system. So everyone expecting the AMC to solve all the problems I think we'll be surprised. I also think we should take note of what the MPC said, which is that the constriction on credit is not solely to do with the distressed banks and toxic loans, but to do with real infrastructure problems, structural problems in the economy, which the government has to address. Mm -hmm. I think that basically what they're saying is that although, for example, aggregate credit annualized grew by 24% in the first quarter, actual credit to the private sector decreased by minus 6.8%, which it suggests that most of the increase in growth and lending is to the government sector, which is less risky for the banks. Mm -hmm. So to increase that private sector lending, what the MPC is saying is that reforms on power, other structural changes have to be put in place by the government for that to really kick off. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, that uh, growth figure coming out yesterday was 7.53% uh, up from 6% last year. But um, if the AMC can't actually solve everyone's problems, what kind of shortfall are we looking for? And uh, yes, 
you know, if uh, government does improve its policies on infrastructure and does uh, activate uh, things to be a lot more uh, aggressive on that front um, to fix the problems that Nigeria, uh, the fundamental infrastructure problems Nigeria does have, I mean, how, how, what role is the central bank going to play within that and, um, and how will it all work? Um, f firstly, on the AMC, I think the, the key thing for the AMC to do is to um, take some of the toxic loans away from the rescued banks. That will allow them to be recapitalized. No new investor is going to put money, put fresh uh, money into the rescued banks to cover, to cover up negative equity. First, the AMC has to put them in a position where they've taken toxic loans and they have no more negative equity problems. You can then recapitalize with new investors. So I think that's the primary aim of the AMC at the moment. I think in terms of what CBN can do to help in the real inf inf air, in changes in the real infrastructure of the economy, I think CBN has been trying to do certain things. They've announced in the last couple of months a new fund to help in the power sector, um, which they want to on-lend to banks at a low interest rate for banks to on-lend to IPP providers to help um, improve the power sector. They've announced agricultural, an agricultural fund and an industrial fund as well to try and help those two key areas of the economy. So I think the CBN is trying in its own way to provide cheap financing to try and grow those areas of the economy. Mm -hmm. But I think from the end, in terms of power, for example, until the enabling environment to allow privatization, proper privatization of the power sector and bring in private investment into the, private, into the power sector, we're not going to see much improvement in that. Mm -hmm. They also, um, oh, yesterday Governor Sanusi also said that he extended the date for all interbank transactions and forward credit lines as well as pension fund placement, placements for banks. Do you think that that's going to uh, help bring confidence back to the market? I think, I think it, it's a continuation of, of what He's done the guarantee they've done before. So I think it will keep confidence in the market. I think one worrying aspect is that the, the MPC or the CBN feels the need to extend this onto June 2011, which would suggest that they don't see the problems, the, the major problems in a lot of the banks really ending at the end of this year for them to. Uh, so uh, that suggests that the, the problems in the banks are, might be worse than expected. And we wait to see what the rescued bank's financials say. Um, that will give an idea of how bad the problem is. I think the, the strong banks, Zenith, uh, UBA, First Bank, GTB, have shown good growth in quarter one um, 2010. But everyone's looking at those middle tier and uh, rescued banks to see the industry as a whole where it is.